Has this ever happened to you? Yeah, fighting the monster. Fight, fight, fight. Kill, murder! It's running away. Let's hop on our dogs and follow it. Uh, yeah, our dogs. Uh, I'll see y'all there. One hour later. <sighs> Alright guys, I'm, I'm here. Let's, let's finish it off. Over 90% of the players I've played with online are using the dogs as their buddies. And probably because of three reasons. The dogs are brand new, which is true. The dogs are fun, which is also true. Riding a big dog in a battle is great. And because the dogs are faster and people don't want to get left behind. And as we all know, Monster Hunter is not about trying out all the different options the game gives us and having fun. It's about efficiency. No cats. Capture only Longsword Destination. And don't get me wrong, I love the dogs, they're great. But they really only have two main functions, attack and uber. But meanwhile, the cats have all sorts of cool moves. There's five different types in this game. So don't assume you have to only use the dogs in online play, even if you're trying to beat the monsters as fast as possible. Palicos can keep up with the dogicos. You just have to try a little bit harder. You can't just go unga bunga ride the dog. And as a dedicated pussy player, I've came across some techniques to help keep pace with those literal bitches when you're chasing down the monsters. First off, fast travel. If a monster runs away and the dog players chase after it, look at your map. If the monster moves closer to a sub camp than you are to the monster, then press the minus button to pull up the map, then Batman your way out of there. But Mr. Spaceman, what are these sub camps you're talking about? I only have the main camp where you start. Whenever you're on a map and you find a spot for a new campsite, a side quest will auto trigger where you have to talk to the Boshin Man, complete his quest, usually either kill a couple of small monsters or deliver some weed, and that unlocks a side camp you can fast travel to at any time during a hunt as long as you're not actively in combat. I'll put all the locations of the side camps at the end of the video in case you haven't found them all yet. Also, walking into the tent gives you an opportunity to heal for free and restock your items if you need to. Tip number two, use the great wire bugs. Wherever you see some undeflowered lilies, you can permanently place a great wire bug on the map, which helps you zip and zap all across the map. How do you get the great wire bugs? Talk to this guy in the village wearing the greatest coochie gear whenever he has a speech bubble, and he'll give you some quests and side quests to get more. Tip number three. What's the shortest route between two points? A straight line. Most dog players, me included, will just follow the path laid out. But in Monster Hunter Rise, walls are a mere suggestion, not a limitation. Take the most direct route between you and the monster by using the wire bug to hop over walls, cross gaps quickly, and even run up walls. If you wire bug onto a wall and hold the sprint button, you'll run up the wall like you're competing on Ninja Warrior. Even if your wire bug is recharging, hitting the button anyways and hopping onto the wall will still let you run vertically. You can even jump off the wall hang in midair with the A button, wait for your stamina recharge, then keep running. Number 4. Speaking of bugs, just use your bugs! With your weapon sheath, you can use the wire bug A button slide or ZR to manually aim it to zoop and zop all across the map. While your wire bugs are recharging, you can just run. Alternate between bug and run. You might arrive like 5 to 10 seconds later, but that's not gonna make a big difference in the grand scheme of the hunt. Number 5. Slopes. Run down a slope and if it's steep enough, you'll slide down it faster than GameStop's value on the NASDAQ. I think it's as fast as, if not even faster, than the dogs run. The volcano map is full of slopes. Number 6. Use your fighting techniques. As far as I know, this mainly applies to two weapons, being the lance and the gun lance. With the lance, you can press X plus A plus ZR to sprint, and it's really fast. It does slowly drain your stamina, but you can sprint for a while and then use your wire bugs to move and then sprint some more. And with the gun lance, if you've unlocked the blast dash switch skill, which I believe you unlock by crafting eight unique types of gun lances, you can press and hold A and then launch through the air. You can even chain multiple together. This works best if you start from a high platform. Also, demon mode and dual blades be moving pretty fast, but I'm not sure if it's faster than just running though. Anyways, here's the locations of all the sub camps. This is where all the sub camps are. The locations of the sub camps are here. The camps are located in these spots. Thanks for watching and don't forget to grab your cat and dash into that subscribe button. Feel free to comment below and leave any tips you have for keeping up with those dog players. And uh, I'm going back to play more Monster Hunter. That's it. Video's over.